technology and research are constantly evolving, which is why it is important for a farmer and his workers to have ongoing training so that they can stay on top of their game. Here to talk about workforce training is Sylvester from AFGRI. Sylvester, thanks for having us. Thank you. You're welcome. So Sylvester, let's talk about training. Yeah. Why is ongoing training important for a farming operation? Agriculture is, is, is evolving. Um, new and better way of doing things always has to be fun. Training your staff is actually key to the sustainability of your farming enterprise. Now it's good and well to say that you're going to train your people, but when do you know what skills they need and over what period? For example, um, what skill would they need for a short term and what skill would they need for a long term? It's exactly that because the each and every business, especially a, a farm, needs to have your short term, medium to your longer term plans. And once you have that, then you, you will definitely then know the set of skills that you require. Then your workers will be trained according to that. What is it that you need now and what is it that you're going to need in the longer term? For instance, if one wants to move from conventional farming to sustainable agriculture, you, you will have those plans and sustainable agriculture will obviously involve well-trained staff, then your training will be aligned according to that. So Sylvester, we would like to know, when is it the right time for a farmer to take his people for training without necessarily disrupting the business? It's always um, competing of, of, of interest. But as soon as one realizes that um, training is, is a key element of, of, of the business, uh, number one and number two, one always looks at the business uh, or the farming cycle. Um, when is staff required on the farm or when do they always also have some, some, some time available to attend training? And once you have those together, then you will allocate appropriate uh, time um, to, to your staff to attend to training. So basically, it depends on what commodities the farmer farms with that, they, that can determine when they can send their workers um, on for training. Yeah, correct. Um, for instance, uh, a farmer, um, grain farmer in the high field area, will we, we know that the, 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 the busiest times is maybe from August to May um, the following year. Perhaps that will not be the right time uh, for workers to be off-site attending training. Thank you so much for this info, Sylvester. You're welcome.